Computer science is one of the highest dropout rates out of any college major. People sign up, they're really excited about their degrees, and they spend a few months or even years and then completely give up. The big question is why? Why are there so many people dropping out of their computer science degrees? That's what we're going to cover in this video. Now, as I was doing research for this video, I quickly found out there's not just one simple answer, but rather a few different things that each play a part. And if you are a computer science major, or if you're thinking about majoring in CS, you'll definitely want to know these things before you start. I also need to say that there's nothing wrong about dropping out, and sometimes you might pick the wrong major, and that's completely fine. But we really want to avoid it at all costs because it's going to be expensive, it's going to technically be a waste of time, and it will include a lot of work for nothing in return. Now, I have four reasons I want to share with you, and the first one is just a lack of interest, and it's pretty self-explanatory, but I also have a new perspective on it. The thing is that a lot of people have been told that computer science is this magic path to a high-paying career with a job that you'll love, or at least you'll love the money. And the thing is that it's true to some extent. Computer science is really a fantastic major, and it does offer a lot of great jobs when you graduate, although, of course, not directly, but sometimes you'll have to start small and then reach these high-paying jobs. But it's still a very good degree, and it's popular for good reason. The thing is though that money isn't really everything, and I think the marketing of the computer science degree, or at least the you know popularity of it, has pushed a lot of people into CS that aren't really made for computer science. They would much rather pursue something else, and computer science is not going to be an easy major if you're not passionate about what you're actually doing, or you at least want it to some extent. If you don't, then it's going to be hard, just like any major. Now, of course, there are more difficult degrees than computer science, but if you do hate what you're doing, then eventually when you fail your third course, you're going to realize that you should have done something else and gone from something that you actually enjoy as well. The next reason I'm going to talk about is unreal expectations, and this is really a big one. Here, I'm not talking about a lack of interest, but rather a lack of understanding. And what I mean is understanding what computer science actually is. I've made another video about this entirely, but to sum it up quickly, computer science is not all about about programming. Programming and, you know, writing code is just a way to implement some aspects of computer science, and it's not computer science. Computer science is actually about the study of computation, which is a much bigger scope. And this means that if you do get into computer science, assuming that you'll be programming all the time, at least in your major, you'll be quickly surprised when you realize that not even 50% of the classes involve programming. There will be quite a bit of math, computer architecture, algorithms, databases, networks, and all sorts of stuff that you would never expect if you only ran into it thinking that it's like some kind of software engineering boot camp. Now, many software engineers do have a computer science degree because it teaches you a lot of the fundamental things. But still, when it comes to the actual programming, it's very far from being a front-end developer or some sort of course like that. And that is also why a complaint from many computer science majors is that they don't really get prepared for programming jobs and they actually have to learn it on the side. So if you want to focus more on that, then you might have to learn it, you know, in addition to the computer science degree if you want to pursue a career that involves writing a lot of code. And that can also be an indication that if you entirely want to focus on writing code, perhaps a computer science degree is not going to be the best option, unless you want to lay that solid foundation and then get to write more code later. Now, the third reason I have as to why people study computer science and actually drop out would be assignment fatigue. Now, this one is really related to all of the other ones, and they're not really operating in a vacuum by any means. And the thing is that once you realize that you are not interested in what you're studying, and you also kind of assume that it was something else, the assignments are going to be so much harder. Now, I just said that it's not all about programming, but there are still quite a few assignments and work that you have to do outside of class. You know, level of this work that you have to do is obviously going to depend on where you're studying and where you're from. And I don't have a perfect explanation of exactly how many assignments you're going to get or what you're going to be doing exactly. But for people that already struggle with the first few points, it can be really the icing on the cake or the thing that, you know, makes them break. Now, I did find some things that actually help people succeed, but before we get into those, I just want to cover reason number four, and that would actually be proper preparation. And the thing is that we talked about a lot more things than just programming, and a lot of people didn't really expect the math and the heavier theoretical courses like theoretical computer science. So you should definitely look into the curriculum and actually be aware of what you're getting into so that you can actually adequately prepare. And in many cases, you're not really going to have to prepare too much, but you want to make sure that you at least remember some of the high school things so that you can build on top of that when you do get started. 
Now I want to talk about the good things and what we can actually do, because I think that's the most important thing. The first thing that I found to help people succeed in the computer science degree is to just embrace the theory and try to really enjoy the theoretical side and understand it as well, because it can be really useful and exciting. Now everything is not going to be super useful later, but some things are definitely going to be useful even if you don't realize it at this moment. The next thing is to not underestimate any courses and actually give them the time that they desire build a solid foundation, but of course you want to have enough time to be able to do all of this, and that's where time management comes in. A significant reason why people drop out of college in general is because they can't keep up with the pace. They find it too stressful, they have too much to do, and eventually they have to give up. In some cases, it's by, you know, circumstances completely out of your control, but in other cases, it might just be poor time management, and time management and, you know, managing your time effectively can really help. Establishing a routine can be a good idea, making you know sure you're actually studying when you think you're studying and not just being busy because one hour of work can pay off more than five hours if you just spend you know dabbling and doing some things that you shouldn't be doing. And finally, maintaining physical and mental health has been found to be insanely helpful for whatever you're doing, but especially for studying a degree. And of course, this varies from person to person, but it's all about you know exercising, getting enough sleep, eating properly, and just trying to stay healthy. Now, I can tell you that especially with sleep, I'm really not the best at this, as you can probably tell, but it is really important and we should all get better at managing our health. I do have another video about computer science that I think you'll like somewhere here on the screen, and it's been really highly appreciated by everyone that's watched it, or at least most people, I think. So make sure to check it out, and I'll see you over there.